Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I just got my third homegrown tomato of the season. And I was going to make a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Only problem is, my lettuce is no good. So, I'm going to improvise. I do have eggs and cheese, so I'm going to make a bacon, egg, cheese, and tomato sandwich. And if you don't like tomatoes, stick around anyway, because you can leave those off. Let's get toasting. Here's all my ingredients here. I have my little homegrown tomato. I have some American cheese. And this is Hormel Black Label Bacon, which actually is pretty good looking bacon. Um, has quite a bit of meat on it, so that's gonna be cooked in the toaster oven. I'm also gonna cook an egg in the toaster oven in this little cast iron pan here. And um, I'm gonna put them on a hamburger bun because I have them. <laughs> and I opened these about 10 days ago. These are Nature's Own butter hamburger buns, and they're still good. They're not stale, which is amazing. Usually I open a package of buns, and a few days later they're stale and they get thrown out. So I'm going to toast the bun because when you put tomato on things, if you don't toast the bread, it tends to make the bread soggy. So let's get this stuff into the toaster oven. I set my oven to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll slide the bacon in underneath the oven rack there. And I'll get my egg up on top. And I did put some coconut oil in the bottom of that little cast iron pan, so hopefully the egg won't stick. Now uh, I'll get my bun alongside of it there and let that toast. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. It's been about five minutes and it looks like this bun is ready to come out of there. Looks like the eggs and the bacon have a little bit longer to go though. The egg has been in here for about seven or eight minutes now, so let's check on that. I think that looks good. I, I want to leave the yolk kind of runny. I like it that way. So uh, we'll get that out of there. And the bacon has a little longer to cook it. It's been about 20 minutes, so this bacon should be done. I did pull the tray out and rotate it about five minutes ago because it was cooking more in the back than the front. So I just rotated it for more even cooking, but that looks really good. It's fairly crispy looking and most of the fat is cooked out. That's the way I like it. Okay, everything's ready. So let's build a sandwich here. Let me find my egg. All right, comes right out of the cast iron pot there. And the nice thing is the cast iron holds the heat. So it kind of kept the egg warm while the bacon was finishing up. Okay, I broke my bacon in half. So let's pile a bunch of bacon on there. Looks real good. Bacon turns out good in the toaster oven. Nice and evenly cooked. Nice and crispy. Egg, let's pile a bunch of it on there. That looks pretty good. Now we need our tomato. And gotta hit a little, put a little salt on the tomato to kind of bring the flavor out. Always gotta have salt on a tomato if you ask me. And uh, just kind of put all three of these tomato slices on there. Can make them fit. That looks good. Maybe. Come on, stay now. Okay, and we'll grab the top, the lid, that already has cheese on it. There we go. That is going to be a heck of a sandwich right there. I can't wait to try this, but I can already tell that it's going to be messy because I can see that the yolk broke right there. I see all the runny. So, let's just have a bite, see what happens. This is really good. My toaster oven comes through again. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.